Hello. Um, so I haven't updated in quite a while. Um, I don't really know why that is. Um, I think as I've said before, it's this whole email thing um, of it being a different email address to the one that I use generally. Um, so having to sign in um, onto something different. And so, anyway. <laughs> um, so, I think the reason I'm updating is because I got a bit of good news today um, about my physical and medical transition. Um, which is really great and generally when I get some good news or even some bad news it prompts me to want to update um, and kind of share what's going on for me so I've I've kind of decided just to make a short well, it might not be that short, we'll see but just to make a video um, about where I'm at and how I'm feeling and what's going on with my medical transition um, here in the UK so um, I went to Berlin over the summer uh, I moved house, which is why I'm, uh, which is why I'm sitting here, uh, in this very very pink bedroom. Um, this is the new house that I'm living in. Um, I started college uh, about three weeks ago. Um, I'm doing what I, I was doing a couple of years ago, which uh, was health and social care. But I'm I'm carrying it on now, um, hopefully to take that into um, a nursing career. Um, I'm especially interested in uh, trans health and uh, transsexual health and sexual health for LGBT people and um, HIV health and stuff like that. So, yeah, I I feel really positive about my schooling and um, about all of that stuff. Economically, um, things are always a struggle, but I think that's just how things are um, for me at the minute, and hopefully they'll improve. If they do, you'll be probably not the first to know, but I'm sure I'll tell you. Um, so, yeah, I went to Berlin, I came back from Berlin, I, I, I went to college, and all of that is going really quite nicely. Um, I'm still in the same relationship that I was in, and that's sort of, you know, there, and nice, and snuggly, and all of that. Um, so the specifics of what I wanted to talk about a little bit is sort of um, surgery and how how that's all coming on. Um, I haven't had it yet, um, and the news that I got today was well, as as you know, if you've been following me, I've been struggling for probably about a year. I'd say about a year now um, to actually get the surgery process moving forward. I first started talking with the Gender Identity Clinic in Leeds about this in, I'd say, kind of September of 2011. And sort of that started rolling ahead, but due to sort of really um, horrifically traumatic circumstances, I had to move and then I stepped away from the Gender Identity Clinic in Leeds. So right now I'm not um, under the care of a gender identity clinic. Um, although I am receiving good quality health care elsewhere, luckily, I've become quite obsessive with my hair as well as it's got longer. So, yeah, I'm, I've got this good quality uh, trans health care coming from um, other sources. It's not comprehensive, but it's alright. Um, it's mostly based in sexual health, but they... Um, they're taking good care of me, and that's with Clinic Q, um, spelt clinic, but instead of a C at the end, it's a Q, and that's um, a trans-only sexual health clinic um, in London, and it's in Soho, and the, the definition of trans that they use is very broad, so that's really good. Um, so, you know, I, I'm not with the GIC. I went to my doctor. My doctor did all the necessary things, and the funding was approved. Um, I don't know whether I mentioned that the funding was approved before, I don't know if I'd updated at that point. And, um, so the funding was approved, and then it was, the, the referral was sent off to the hospital at St George's, um, so that I could be referred to Catherine Milroy. That referral was first sent there, like they first received the referral at that hospital in July, um, of this year. 
which was very shortly after I made my last video complaining about how it wasn't there yet. So they did receive it, but what they did with it is sent it backwards and forwards between departments. I've had to chase it up maybe three, four times a month. And um, for a long time it was just sitting in an in-tray in the wrong department and it took them a good month to, well, month to two months to figure out that it was in the wrong department and send it to the right department. And then the right department wasn't going through it, it wasn't processing it because I was being viewed as a new um, arrival every time I was put back in the in-tray after they'd made some kind of a mistake where they hadn't. Uh, made me an appointment with the surgeon. So after all of that, I, I called them up today and I just said, look, do, do I have an appointment yet? And she said, oh, um, no, you don't, but you should have, and you should have had it already. I don't understand what's happened. And the, the secretary, um, the administrator, called down, down to wherever the referral department is and told them to make me an appointment, uh, the bookings department um, told me to make an appointment, to, uh, told them to told them to make an appointment for me. <laughs> Get it out in the end. Um, and they did that, and I, I have one um, two weeks on Friday, and I'll be meeting with the surgeon to discuss um, how I want to move forward with my surgery, and um, discuss various techniques, and my health, and, and sort of my circumstances, and all of that stuff. Um, I'm quite nervous about it, um, because I'm not sure what she's going to say, I'm not sure what the option's going to be, uh, I'm also quite nervous because I'm not under the care of a gender identity clinic, um, although I have been referred to Charing Cross um, down here in London, um, and I don't have up-to-date hormone levels. I'm sure I can get those, it's just going to be quite a hassle to do it. Um, the other thing is that I'm late for my shot of testosterone, I haven't had one now in about 13 or 14 weeks and I should have them every um, sort of 10 to 12. So, you know, I think that's lapse on my own part because um, I've, I've, basically, I've started college, I've had other things that I'm doing and it's not been in the forefront of my mind, which is partly a problem but also such a relief to be able to say that it's not in the forefront of my mind. Um, so that's amazing. Um, I want to make another video, I'm not sure if I'll post the second, the second video that I'm going to make, and that, the second video that I want to make is about how I want to document this part of, um, my transition, the, the surgery, do I want to do it, uh, using images and written word, or do I want to make videos as well, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure which one I want to do. I still haven't got around to downloading all of my sort of milestone videos from YouTube, so I don't actually have all of the documents uh, and the videos from that anyway, but I'm sure I'll get around to it before sort of the world collapses and YouTube doesn't exist anymore. Um, so yeah, basically that's where I'm at um, with the physical side of transition. Um, have my appointment and I'll be having surgery within 18 weeks. Um, so that's before, it will be happening before February. Um, sort of before February, March time. Um, so either late this year or early next. Um, emotionally, how do I feel about that? I'm quite frightened, um, but I also feel a sense of peace with it, um, that it's happening, because I've, I've found a surgery technique that I really, really love, um, that I think will suit me. And um, if anybody wants to know anything about it, it's called the T or anchor technique. And um, Someone I know, or, or a website that I know of, uh, it's called um, Nutrois.me, uh, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll post a, if not a link, just a text format of it um, below this video, because um, that, that site has, has really valuable resources, and I found it just so invaluable, because, um, you know, the technique provides me with everything uh, that I want out of surgery. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Um, and possibly post the next video. So, thank you.